But when I tried your 2.6 and I found a grip that actually felt like it was solid, that I could actually make contact with the ball, and then the posture that you taught me, which kept me over the ball, then I knew that I had something going on and I took it out to the golf course and immediately when I just using the 2.6, instead of slicing the ball and hitting very, very short distance and missing the ball, I started hitting longer distances and started hitting the ball more consistently and playing well and I enjoyed it. Just coming over the top. Weak. Yeah. Just weak over here, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, now I saw you hitting them during the uh, during the rain session here. We, we fixed a grip and posture. Right. What changed uh, in, 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 your, in your confidence because the ball was going Right. I mean, just about everything. I mean, um, you know, for one thing, as mentioned here, I've, I've never had a lesson, so I've had a lot of, a lot of practice bad habits. But you know what they say? Uh, uh, you know, uh, you can practice a lot of, a lot of bad things, and I've been practicing a lot of bad things. But this gave me the fundamentals, and now I have a foundation. That's what I'm saying. I got to start, start small. This is giving me the foundation really swing. So, again, that whole stand centered, stopping the shift. With my irons, absolutely perfect. Yeah, yeah, especially keeping the head behind the ball. Yeah, yeah, because everything shifts automatically. And the, and, and the big thing, swinging under the tape. That you were spraying the ball everywhere. Oh, right. Just, left, right. You know, didn't matter how I, you know, tried to band-aid my swing. I, I, I was just going everywhere. Wow. Now, from what I saw today, and for what two six is, I wouldn't have never thought that. What What happened today that? really just jumps out out of, out of your mind honestly I, I was skeptical when i when when tyrone told me about it and i you know i went yeah. ahead and said you know i'm going to try this out and i was hoping to take away one maybe two you know things from it completely changed my completely changed my game um from the second you looked at me taking my club away you instantly said you're not creating space and that that just completely changed everything about my swing. As we just witnessed an eagle from Wayne here. Uh, Wayne, you hit an iron off the tee? Yes. And what was that second shot? Uh, seven, that was a 155 seven iron. Uh, you had just adjust me to open up because I was hitting the draw just a little too much. So I opened up and, and it was uh, dead straight. Just took off, trajectory was low. Hit the green, bounced and rolling. And Javier was already up there and he said, man, I think it went in. And, Wow, just like that, an eagle. So an eagle, eagle got easy, easy eagle. Yeah, yeah. Again, it was an iron off the tee. Nice right. iron, iron off, off the tee. tee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what we're working on, guys. Working on irons today, yeah. but an eagle from Wayne. Good job, Wayne. Thank you. What you are able to fully feel completely is effortlessness, and together with the presentation of the ability to use the process, the two-six process, in order to solve every problem. Mm -hmm. that pops up mm -hmm. because they pop up all the time. Well, I've watched your tapes, I've slowed them down, I've you know held a video cam, I've held my phone and watched your timing and I see where you are and where I need to be but I also know the process is what it is. Mm -hmm. It's not it's, not, it's not trying to manipulate right. as you said. Before you found 2-6, what was your state of mind with golf in trying to learn learn the swing, learn the game? Yeah, well, I had no point of reference for a golf swing, so I didn't grow up playing golf, so uh, I didn't I didn't understand the basics of what it takes to to perform or execute a golf swing, and so that led me to going online trying to find all kind of uh, principles, ideas, things you can put together. Because in my mind, in my mindset is you can learn anything if you just go online. And, do some research so uh and that led to a whole lot of other issues i mean so now you're trying to patch together thousands of different perspectives on the golf swing and man it just doesn't work yeah to begin to play i'm like this is totally different from anything i've ever played in my life so yeah i thought it would be simple and come to find out it's not that simple you know so before so before you got two six you were kind of confused yeah. You told me that when you yeah. came to two six, basically say, "Here we go again." What stood out as different than what you had experienced in the past? Man, let me tell you. Well, when I first learned to grip, I was going to wait. And posture, that. Two six principle there, and I went to the brain. I was like, "Wait a minute, this is way too simple." <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding to you. I was like, wait, 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 wait. So I went from trying to change grip, trying to change this, trying to change that, 
to. Man, the ball is going straight every single time. And it was effortless. I think that's the biggest thing that stood out to me. It was effortless. Now, what happened at Colonial a while back uh, when, when you were golfing there? Yeah, well, let me, let me set you up real quick. Got to remind, got to remind everyone. I didn't play golf coming up, so again, I I had no point of reference. They had uh, the TCU. Uh, I'm a TCU alumni as well, so we had the golf team there, and so they had like it was like a it was like a scramble kind of thing, and so you were playing with a TCU golfer, which these guys, man, are just phenomenal. I mean, just. I can't even get to tell you how they play golf. It's just crazy what they do with the ball. And so I'm up on the first tee, <laughs> and I'm nervous, man, because I'm oh, watching all these guys gotta in be. front of me. And I'm like, okay, am I going to shank it? Is this going to go out of bounds? <laughs> 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 the world is coming to an end kind of thing. I'm everything, nerv- you're not su- everything you're not supposed to do, Lionel. <laughs> man, I'm nervous. <laughs> so I, I'm like, you know what? Uh, just stick to the process. So I'm like, yeah. try to block everybody out. And so I, I, the whole principle was, we all hit, uh, we hit some of the players from TCU hit, and then we hit the scramblers hit, and they will play the TCU players ball from the team. That was always because they were put in the best position. So God smashes the ball. I'm like, oh God, I'm I'm super nervous. <laughs> so I get up, man, and I take, man, I hit that ball, dude, so far. I mean, slammed it. I, I actually was trying to hit a cut, and I actually hit it exactly the way I wanted to. And then went down from there and then hit the second shot perfectly. So they played my ball. They didn't play the, they didn't play the TCU player ball. They played my ball. <laughs> so the coach, the TCU coach walked up to me and goes, man, where'd you play, where'd, where'd, college, where'd you play golf at in college? I'm like, dude, I didn't play golf in college. He was like, are you kidding me? He was like, uh, you know, I still got eligibility if you want to play. <laughs> yeah, I, I was skeptical. I was skeptical. <laughs> How has your golf swing improved just for being here? So I would say I've had lessons from at least – uh, 10 different PGA professionals over probably the last 10 years. Matter of fact, I still have five left on a lesson with the guy that I'm currently uh, engaged with now. And I would say this, um, first of all, I asked him earlier where, where he's been all my life. <laughs> I mean, so the one- Talking about me? Yeah, you. <laughs> okay. The one- the, I've the, been right here. The one tip, <laughs> the one tip, and I, I, the one tip he gave me that I've never heard before is keeping your head behind the ball. And it absolutely has changed the way I'm hitting the ball, totally and completely. Right, and you yep. know, and let, let me preface this. There, there's, there's a way that t- uh, teaching pros, they say keep your head down. Right. There's a big difference between keeping your head down right. and keeping your head behind the ball at impact. Right. Yep. Because at impact, I come up. Right. I don't keep the head down. Yeah. Okay. So that's a big difference. That's probably what the confusion was. Yeah. Um, so that was one, because that slows you down. Right. Um, so your swing now is pretty effortless. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. I'm hitting it really solid. You you hit it well. You kind of hook it a little bit. Yeah. Are you working that out? I, I, I did when I kept my head behind the ball. Right. I was hitting the seven iron further than I was hitting the five iron. I mean, it's, it, I finally understand how to start my downswing. And you were just telling me off camera, for 40 or 50 years you've been golfing, that that's been the mystery of how do you start the I've never downswing. been able to do it. Start it with your left knee. Start it with your hip. I don't even think about that now. When I first ran across two six i was desperate i mean i was i was literally thinking about quitting golf because it had just gotten to the point where i had been a good player i've been a decent you know 15 handicap kind of player and i i was getting progressively worse and i had looked at all these videos and you know followed the lead betters and the harmons and all of that stuff and i was just i was literally getting worse and i think right before i ran across you i played golf with one of my buddies and i shot 115 <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait on, a, a minute. on a par 72 course <laughs> and 115. Did, did you say 115? 115 um, was my now score. Not, um, now, not to be funny, but what does that look like? It, it's like? ugly. What is it? <laughs> it, it, it looks ugly and it, it felt ugly. So let me ask you, so when you, when you first joined the network, 
How soon were you making better contact with the ball? Oh, immediately. I mean, once I, once I understood the grip and the posture, and, and really at that point it was just grip, posture, keep your head behind the ball. Those were the three, the three thoughts that I had in my mind, and I was hitting the ball better immediately. From, the, from your first shot this morning to your last couple of shots, tell, tell us what happened. Major difference. Okay. Major difference not only in confidence and enjoyment, and um, I feel that I now have a basis to, you know, to, to move forward and to really you know, adopt the two six principles. And I really do believe that the two six principles are the correct method to advance my career. You guys are learning so much off these videos. I find Terry, I watch all of his videos. Up until I found Terry, I have had multiple lessons like I'm sure many of you. I have, I started golfing seven years ago when I was 50. I have been to numerous uh, lessons throughout the country. My latest has been, I started with Golf Tech in 2013. The one thing, the key that I was missing was the arms. I was always coming out with the hips. My game was totally inconsistent. I wasn't striking the ball well. So the, the next thing I had to learn was keeping my head behind the ball. And I watched probably 20 videos on YouTube before I found you. Once I found them, I knew I'm, this is it. Now, how were you hitting them today? We hit a bunch of clubs. Yeah. How did you hit them today? Yeah, incredible. You get, if you're not doing this, you need to do this, okay? His head is going to get a lot bigger than it is now, <laughs> and his wife is smiling, but that's okay because this <laughs> works. I asked him today, I said, how did you develop this? And he just said, it I just came to me. And I, I'm like, it had to have because nobody else is teaching us.